Hey, what's up? Richard Bryce here. Today, I'm going to show you two very simple but very different looking drills that are going to help you make cleaner contacts on the ball so you can become more consistent. I hope you find the video helpful. If you do, it'd be great if you could give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel. As you probably already know, the contact is the most important part of the tennis shot because that is what decides whether the ball goes in or not. Everything that comes before it and everything that goes after it kind of doesn't matter as much. It's all about can you get the angle of the racket face right at the moment you make contact. Now something that is going to be crucial for enabling you to do that on a consistent basis is keeping your eyes lined up looking at that contact point. This is why you always hear coaches saying watch the ball, watch the ball onto the strings, keep your head still, watch the ball at contact because it's so important. This is just the way our body functions, our visual system is the most dominant system, so when we're looking at things more directly it allows our brains to make the necessary movement adjustments because obviously the ball's in a different place every time, sometimes it takes a bad bounce or get, there's a gust of wind or whatever happens, the more closely we're looking at it the better. Obviously Obviously Federer and Daniel Medvedev are the most perfect examples of this. They just keep their head so still through contact on all of their shots. Doesn't matter whether it's a forehand, doesn't matter whether it's a backhand, they just keep their head still. There's also players though, like Dominic Thiem and Andy Murray, that you can see that they're hitting these amazing forehands and somehow they're looking down the other end of the court. Now, if I try that, it doesn't work for me. I'm going to hit the back fence or I'm just going to clean miss the ball, but they can do it. And there's a reason that they can do it. And that is because they have got amazing peripheral vision. So what I'm going to be showing you in this video are two different vision training drills. One of them is going to help to train the skill, which is you turning your head at the same time that the ball moves towards you. So on all of your shots, the ball's coming this way. I'm not just tracking that with my eyes because I'd be looking forward. So what I'm doing is I'm tracking the ball with my head and my eyes to that contact point. So I'm going to show you a really simple but amazingly effective drill to train that particular skill. But I'm also going to show you how to train your peripheral vision because peripheral vision, an unbelievable peripheral vision, is what allows Dominic Team to hit better forehands than I'll ever be able to hit while not even facing in the right direction. Now I do not recommend that you try and hit your forearms like that. I recommend that you try and keep your head still on contact. Um, one of the big takeaways from this video is focus on that as hard as you can. But if you happen to lift your head, the better your peripheral vision, the more likely you are not to miss the shot quite as badly, if that makes sense. But also on a more serious note, you know, there's been research done showing that we can't fully see it on the contact because it's moving too fast on and off. So the better your peripheral vision, the just generally the better you're gonna be able to watch it on and off your strings. So we've got two different visual exercises. We're gonna jump over to the wall and I'll show you what they are. Okay, so the first drill we've got, this is the visual skill that allows you to track the ball onto the strings and helps to train the reflex that allows you to keep your head still at contact. It's called letter ball. You can do it without the letters, but it's just way more effective with the letters. So I've just got a regular tennis ball. I've drawn letters on it just in a biro or whatever pen was lying around. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to throw it against the wall and I'm going to catch it. But what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to call the letter out just before it arrives. The other thing I'm trying to do is I'm trying to line my nose up with the ball while it's in my hand and keep my eye focused and keep my head still for a full second, maybe even two seconds after you've caught it because we're training the skill of tracking it in. We're training visual recognition, trying to call out the letter just before it reaches the hand because we want to train our body to be able to respond to what we see. And if you kind of look at the research, there's something called quiet eye, which is elite level performers like Federer and it happens in baseball, it happens in other sports as well. They keep their eyes focused on that target for just a fraction of a second longer, and that's one of the reasons why they're better. So we're training that quiet eye as well. So what it'll look like is this. I'll be throwing the ball against the wall. F, A, F, A, A, B, F, A. So really simple. Hopefully you saw what I was doing. I'm just calling it out. I'm trying to call the last letter that I see. I guess one important thing is a lot of people when they start doing this drill, they see a B coming at them, so the B is coming towards me. I call, ooh, <laughs> I call out the letter B, and then if they look what's in their hand, it's an A, and they think they got it wrong. They didn't get it wrong, it's just that the B is now facing your hand. So you're trying to call the last letter out just before you catch it. So if my hand's coming in here, I'm going to call out the B. That's the letter that I want to call. 
So that's the first drill, letter ball, fantastic drill. You wanna practice throwing it in different directions. So you have to move your head up in different directions because the way that our visual systems work and the complicated stuff behind the scenes, it just works differently for different directions. So you wanna practice moving your head and catching and tracking and doing this quiet eye in every different head position. So that's drill number one. We'll get rid of that ball. Drill number two, you've probably seen before, juggling. Juggling is a great way to train your peripheral vision because when you're juggling, you know, you're kind of looking forwards. So I'm defocused here, but the thing that allows me to catch it in my hands each time is my peripheral vision. If I was to try and look at my hands, I'm not gonna do it because I don't wanna look stupid dropping the ball on camera. Um, it would make it much challenge, more challenging. So what I'm doing here is I'm watching, I'm looking directly forwards, and then I'm just using my peripheral vision to follow the ball. So practicing both juggling and practicing the letter ball, here we're gonna train two of the most important visual skills that you need on court. The two of the most important visual skills for making that clean contact and two of the most important skills for improving your consistency. So what I highly recommend is you just spend a couple of minutes a day working on them. Like if you can't juggle, it tells us that there's maybe, it tells us that your coordination isn't optimal. We'll put it that way. So just literally spending time working on your juggling, it's hand to eye coordination, and it's really gonna train this peripheral vision. So it's gonna be a great thing to help with your tennis and you train the letter ball. That's also gonna be a great thing to help with your coordination, your vision, and all this tracking stuff. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you do, it'd be great if you give me a thumbs up. I guess before I close it out, um, we've got just a couple of vision drills here, but I've also got a free tennis vision starter program that shows you uh, another series of vision training exercises because vision is one of the biggest things that holds tennis players back on court. So in addition to these drills, there's some other stuff that you can work on that's gonna increase your likelihood of tracking the ball well. It's gonna help with your timing, help with your focus, help with your reaction speed. I'll place a link down in the description. I'll place a link up there in the corner so you can grab that if you would like help in that area, okay? If you've got any questions or comments, leave them down below. I love hearing from you. I wanna help you get better at tennis. Your thoughts help me to make better quality videos. Even if they're nasty comments, I still like hearing them. 